There's three problems with bows and tarps and holders in semi-aluminum and semi-steel dump trailers. The three problems are that the holder fails, the bow fails, and the tarp fails. And these problems are common in all trailers. So I decided to attack the problem of the holder and the bow, and then we'll discuss the canvas solving. I designed a holder and patented it with a through bore. The through bore through the holder allows material or water to drain through the holder and not seize the bow to the holder. There's a drain in the back of the holder, a slot that's machined and, and it drains. Second of all, I had designed a bow with a tube inside a tube. The outside tube is UV protected for the sunlight so it won't get hard and it will stay flexible. The wall thickness is different on it than the wall thickness and the diameter of the inner tube. The inner tube is stiffer as you compress it than the outer tube. So it allows the bow to go vertical up and down and get tighter and tighter as it goes down to spring it back because the inner bow compresses faster and is much stronger with tensile strength than the outer bow. The original flex bows and flexible bows always were too stiff and too tight and they would roll forward or they would roll backwards. Then being as stiff as they are, they will break at the holder. The reason they broke at the holder was they were seized in the holder because after usage in three or four months time, the bow would get material in there and it would seize to the holder. With a through hole in the holder, which is a part of the combination of the bow and the holder to the trailer, this is all eliminated. These bows have been in service, over 7,000 of them for three years, with not a single one breaking. That's why we kind of nickname it the unbreakable 